this is George Earth, and uh, this is um, how I make music on a computer. Episode one, and um, today I'm going to uh, just uh, dive right into a track that I've been working on uh, called uh, Billion Color Tower, Billion Colors Tower, and um, just play a little bit of it from the beginning so you get an idea. going on. Uh, it starts with a piano and a pad. And uh, right before filming I was working on the pad. Working on uh, making some space. And uh, this is where I'm diving in right here because this is um, at uh, 17 seconds or so is where I feel like uh, a sort of pulsing driving thing should start happening right there. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show my uh, workflow of how I would create that. So um, once again, just a little brief thing here. Here's my um, piano. I had just thrown some delay on that and made it into uh, quarter notes to kind of give it that bump, bump, bump pulsing. Um, this one here is actually the pad that um, happens later in the song, but for the intro here, I flipped it, which you can barely hear by flipping it. I mean, I made it in reverse. Um, I'll show you a quick example here. Here's that same pad, not in reverse, just the way it sounds and it's soloed. pitch wheel and um, uh, also some delay and reverb but then that same uh, pad um, here at the beginning I I made it be reversed which you can barely hear oh. and it's also faded up it's incrementally different but Little, little differences here and there. One thing I learned is uh, little little tiny things add up to uh, usually big cool stuff. A bunch of big stuff adds up to a bunch of garbage usually. So, um, But it's those little tiny things when added up. They can still potentially be garbage or not. But anyway. So uh, yeah, at 17 seconds um, is where I am um, thinking that there should be something kind of major that comes in. So that's where we are right now. So uh, I doo -doo 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 -doo, just added a track and get rid of this really quick. So I'm adding, I don't know if I can do this with one hand and I don't have a mount. Let's see, I think I can. Doo -doo -doo -doo. New. Oh. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, but uh, just creating a new track. After this, I'll try to do everything with one hand. Stereo instrument track. Bam, there's our instrument track up here. Do -do -do -do. Instrument, uh, our friend Contact. And uh, for this stuff right here, although I do have a bunch of Contact approved libraries, there's some really cool stuff that I have that's not contact approved at least you know it's approved but it's not advertised in their library bar um, but this particular one is a library called um, iron and rust super fun very trailery um already gotten some cool stuff at it that pad is basically an angel choir kind of manipulated but um just now i was going to try to pull something different and you know what i'm actually not even going to use this particular library for this, I'm going to go to, do, 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 um, man, the stuff from, uh, from sample tracks is fucking awesome. Love sample tracks and, uh, what do, 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 do I have from sample tracks? Bleed, um, Doom, let's go into Doom, let's see some Doom. Uh, doom, doom impact, doom trailer beast. Hmm. Yeah, find that missing folder. 
Do, do, do. Here's some searching for missing folder music. Do, do, do. Some more shots of Lucy the dog and Bella the dog hiding over in between. Oh, no, Bella has changed locations. Bella is in her little Bella bed. And Lucy is down here. Ah, okay, here we are. So this is something that's showing up without uh, any big fancy interface, but it's just some sounds. Oh, that's pretty sick. myself here, not D1, but D2. Fun, but that's not actually what I was starting to do here when I got distracted. But uh, that is kind of fun. Let's see if we can just make that work so that it ends right. lesson and listen to the rest of your track before you start making uh, arranging, arranging decisions because uh, when I first came in and started listening to this I really didn't even get past 17 seconds before I realized that I wanted something big to come in but now about uh, eight minutes into working on this I realized that the last time I was sitting here I actually did have something like what I was talking about except that it came in at 22 seconds and it's this thing do 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 Yes, so um, what I wanted right now is for that to actually come in at 17 seconds. So do 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 I'm just gonna uh, copy a little bit of this and 17 seconds. You know, the other moral of the story is that normally with most of these tracks, <clears throat> as soon as I leave for the day, uh, because my studio is in a studio complex and not at my house, so I do have to leave and take my dogs home at some point. Hello! Um, <clears throat> usually I always bounce a mix and put it up on Dropbox and have it so that I can refer to stuff when I'm not here. Um, and this particular one I didn't do that and that's why I'm an idiot and came in and started working on something Putting a track that I forgot that I already had but anyway, so what I'm thinking is here at 17 seconds uh, Is where I want that thing to come in bam there we are so now if Everything works out let's hear the space <laughs> Still haven't printed this one, by the way. This is still in MIDI, <clears throat> but I will print it shortly. Thank you. 
to spend a whole bunch of time drawing that out in MIDI, so I'll do a little, little time savory thing here. Pardon my reach again. New track. Do, 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 do. I don't know a lot of people make one stereo audio track. Sorry about the glare. Great. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, do a lot of stuff and keep it in MIDI. I don't know why I just, I like working in <clears throat> my, uh, my audio track. So usually not too long after I do something MIDI, I turn it into an audio track. Sometimes not, but, uh, or, you know, at some point, ultimately, of course, but sometimes sooner in the game. Uh, so here I am to do, do out. Oh, this glare is going to be really bad. Sorry about that. Bus nine and ten. Nine and ten. Do, 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 Happen a little bit more frequently, so before I do anything here, let me disable take that out of audio and uh, make an active. Thank you very much. And now, um, from this imp impact point on, copy. And And if you listen carefully, you can hear the band down the hallway. Uh, and let's just see how this feels. Oh, let me do some saving here. Multiple saving. Yeah, it's additional family stuff. There's Lucy as a puppy. There's Lucy as a big potato head. My beautiful Rosa, who is now Rosa the Ghost Kitty. There's my beautiful mom, Ellen, and myself. And there is Bella, as a baby Bella. And there she is, as a, as a still kind of baby Bella. And uh, there's astronaut ice cream. Actually, I guess this video series could just be about all the weird shit that's in my studio. There's a drum clock. There's a, a gong. There is a daytime mommy. That's another story. There's my theremin. There's my percussion tree. There's my gaming center. And where were we? All right, let's just go ahead and hear this. Sounds like I'm going to